Hey, what's up YouTube? I got another drug mnemonic for you guys. This one's on Mupiracin. It's kind of a lesser talked about drug, but you know, something that you might be tested on or see at some point. So here's a couple things that can help you remember some of this drug. So Mupiracin works by mucking up production of isoleucyl tRNA. So that is, you know, created by the first what, five letters of the drug um, Mupiracin. So when you see the drug, just think it mucks up production of isoleucyl tRNA. Um, so what does that mean? It means the without the um, transfer RNA, the uh, bug cannot essentially bring in the peptide um, unit isoleucine in order to make its proteins. So in that sense, it's going to be bacteriostatic because the drug can no longer uh, proliferate and create the um, metabolic products that it needs. Now, the ending sin can remind us that it's a sin um, in the sense that it's a sin to put in. And this basically means that it's applied only topically only in order to avoid um, to uh, systemic toxicity that would uh, surely ensue if you um, gave it systemically rather than just topically. Another thing to remember is that it does actually have MRSA activity. So in the cases of um, skin MRSA infections, you could, um, if reasonable, use mupiracin. We can remember that um, with the mnemonic that it that MRSA is unable to proliferate um, with mupiracin. Um, so there's another reminder. Um, another thing we could say is that it's got activity against both gram positive and gram negative. So you can remember that maybe with the P and the N in the name uh, mupiracin. Other than that, I think that's probably about all you might really need to know about mupiracin for most uh, intents and purposes. Um, I hope this helped you guys remember some of those features. Please like the video if it helped. I appreciate it. Have a great day, guys.